I'm sorry. I wasn't discussing your career development. I was telling you what to do. A hearty hello and how is it going, viewers? Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another GTA 4 The Ballad of Gay Tony walkthrough video. This is the second Ray Bulgarian or Bulgarian, whatever, mission. And after the um, going deep, you have to do uh, assassination for Ray, even though that's not Luis's background. Yeah, he's just telling you what to do. And is with any of Ray's missions, firepower, lots and lots of firepower. Make sure Luis has body armor, grenades, carbine rifle, submachine gun automatic shotgun, and whatever else he can carry through the mission because he's going to need it. In this case, you don't have Ray or Tamir um, gathering up and causing you issues. This mission is called Dropping In, and let's get to it. Welcome to the party! <gasps> sit down! Sit down! Sure. Can I get you anything? A drink? <sighs> oh, something stronger. Huh? I'm cool, bro. You know how to play the drums? We need a fucking drummer. I ain't your man, bro. Sorry. You Spanish have the rhythm. Give us a fucking beat, man. You don't drum, but you dance, don't you, Luis? You dance. I can dance, man, but not with you and him. That's a shame. You dance, Mr. B? Money doesn't dance the money. Doesn't dance, my friend. Okay, but you need some work done. Wait, wait. Listen. Ooh. Ah, this is it. This is it. Ooh. Hey, can you ask the ape to stop playing for a second? You want I should stick $50,000 guitar up your ass? No, but I got some friends I can introduce you to if that's how you get your kicks. Oh, funny guy. All right. All right. Okay. You have heard about Liberty City. Rampage. The owner still will not accept my offers. I have been more than reasonable. You mean after you killed this special team of cops? It's weird. You want me to negotiate with him? No. The time for negotiations over. Do what needs to be done in his boardroom. Send a message. Hey, I ain't a hitman, bro. I mean, I'll fight anyone, do whatever. But I ain't a contract killer. The offices are in the me TV buildings. Getting in will not be easy. You'll have to find someone else, man. I mean, it's not my thing. I ain't qualified for that shit. I'm sorry. I wasn't discussing your career development. I was telling you what to do. No, fuck off and go. Поехали. So Luis is now going to be uh, killing someone for Ray, and he has to take Timir with him. The good part is. The douchebag isn't going to be coming with um, Luis through the mission. He's just going to monitor the mission. And you can kind of tell by the conversation as you're driving to the helicopter that Tamir is a kind of a, how shall I say, douchebag, a moron. And it proves out at the end of the mission, in a sense. Um, as I had said in the previous video, firepower. Lots of firepower. And you're going to need it. It's kind of a silly mission. I'm going to fast forward to where 
you get to the helicopter, and the next part begins. Now that we're close to getting the chopper, uh, Louise parks the car, you go out the opposite door and take the opposite side, and you will get to the chopper faster than Tamir or whatever, and yeah, you can kind of mess around a little bit. You can't take off without him. So now he tells you what to do. You have to get up above Star Junction. As you can see in the upper left corner, there's a halo. You follow Tamir's instructions to the ultimate end point, And you're going to essentially dive out of the helicopter and parachute down to a building, which makes no sense. You probably could just land the damn helicopter onto the building and get out and do the same thing. But this is GTA, and things get a little wacky. Things get a little convoluted. But I digress. You do get really good views of Liberty City from way up in the sky here as you fly through and take instructions from Tamir, and he explains what's going on and what you need to do, sort of, but you got to sneak your way through this mission. Once you get to the final halo, you jump out of the air helicopter. I recommend pulling the ripcord right away and bringing yourself into a landing. You can kind of see the helicopter going under your feet. You want to bring Luis in here, kind of along the lines of this building here. You see this antenna below Luis's feet. You got to bring him down to about the height of the antenna in order to really land him properly. Now you can bring him in quickly, ease up, kind of bunny hop him in pull up to bring his legs up, then you can drop him in and there you go. This guy sends heavily armed bodyguards at Luis. What type of sports guy has heavily armed bodyguards? We have him now. I'm gonna shoot this bitch in the balls. Now that Luis is in, you got to take this strategically. Flip to the submachine gun and stay crouched and walk your way down carefully. In this case, like with all GTA games, the door you can shoot open because there's probably someone behind it and you don't want to open it and get shot. Boom, that door up, you don't I can't get that guy, so open up the other door and sneak Quickly to the side here where you can get a good view. Uh, you might want to open the door up a little bit here. You can tell there's one guy kind of hiding. I'm going to pop the door open. And this is where your friend hand grenade comes in. You kind of get it lined up and you chuck the grenade and watch the fun happen. It explodes it devastates one guy you can jump out and shoot him ah he goes down the elevator shaft another guy goes down an elevator shaft and you should be fine but stay low and keep creeping up you can pick up their ammo clips and help your ammo out and oh what's this guy doing ah oh he was hiding but got him now, speaking of this elevator shaft, um, hand grenade number two comes in real handy. And you just chuck it down the shaft here and let it go kaboom. Flip to the automatic shotgun because at the bottom of the shaft, you're going to wind up needing it. And just drop right down here. You see these guys spin around carefully. Fire off a few rounds. Yep, you can see this guy jumps out. And if you could get him, 
fine. Suppressive fire, pick up the guns. And this is where um, another hand grenade will come in handy. There you see another guy run around a corner. You kind of have to sneak out a little bit here to get the hand grenade chucked properly. And you see right there, you get it lined up correctly and throw the hand grenade, get back, and watch the fun happen. There goes the one guy. Flip over to the... Yep, submachine gun and work your way up very, very carefully. The guy at the end of the hall, I'm probably going to see. Yep, I'm going to toss another hand grenade here. Right down the end of the hall. And he's blown out of there. You want to sneak up, get the gun ammo, and you don't want to open that door because there is someone there. You want to get yourself into a good position here, and you want to shoot open the door with the submachine gun. And, oh, no one's popped out yet. This is kind of weird. Shoot the other door open, that door again, and, okay, this guy, yep, there you go. Take him down. I know there's another guy at the other end of the door. You want to keep clear. And you want to shoot the door open again using the automatic shotgun. Let's shoot this door open. And there's that guy. You can kind of beat on him. Fire a couple times and he's dead. Now you're safe. Whatever you want to do, do not open doors or walk through them. You're going to get killed. What you want to do is shoot them open and uh, take down the guys. You know there's going to be a guy at the end of this door. Flip to the carbine. And there's a reason. You open the door up. You don't see anyone. It's a stairwell. But you want to creep up here quickly. You can kind of see the top of the guy's head. You want to get the head somewhat high and... Put the bead on him. Headshot. He's dead. Now I'm going to let things play out a little bit here. Uh, and explain what's going on at the next door. Now you don't want to run through this door immediately. Shoot it open. No one's going to come at Luis. Sneak forward and sneak very carefully. You can see through the window there's some guys there. You can try and machine gun them down if you can get a good shot. Um, a grenade sometimes works well, but you want to get good, clean shots at these guys. At this point, Luis is going to take some hits. He's going to get chopped up because there's going to be a lot of bodyguards coming at him. And that guy behind the desk is dead. Things are firing up to get that guy dead. Now this guy, he's kind of a pain, the one around the corner. You see him shooting. Sometimes the shotgun works well. Yep. He hit Louise a couple times. Now you don't you want to flip to the carbine, but you don't want to go rushing out. You want to sneak up here because you'll see there is a glass window and an office chair. Right there you can see it, and there's guys behind it. Shoot them through the window, shoot things up. One guy's dead, that guy is dead. This guy shoots you, kill him. Now you want to sneak forward very, very carefully. You want to get their weapons, possibly body armor if you can. There's that guy. You take him down. There's probably going to be another bodyguard coming at you. This Avanti, whatever guy, is talking about Kremlin. There's the last bodyguard. You can shoot him, but you don't want to go into the office yet. 
you don't want to shoot the main guy yet. You don't want to kill him. You want to gather up weapons, body armor if you can. There is none. If you need health, that little health pack is a good thing. And then you sneak forward. Do not kill the main target yet. Get into the office. There's no other bodyguards. Sneak into the office. He's surrendering. Again, don't kill him. You don't want to kill him until the last minute, and I'll show you why. Pretty dramatic, huh? Now bodyguards are going to come at you extremely quickly. Uh, you can keep firefighting them, but they're just going to keep pouring in. You're better off jumping out the window and trying to land on a truck. Yeah, a truck. And yeah, just better part of valor, jump out the window, and you're going to try and land on the truck, which is going to be really hard. I'm just going to let Luis float in. You can do it, but most of the time you're not going to land on it. You don't have enough air under you. No time to waste. It's not worth the risk. Good luck, buddy. Timir, the douchebag, abandons you. Now you have bodyguards coming at you. Flip to the carbine rifle. You're not going to get away. So, yeah, they're coming at you, and they're coming at you hard. The carbine rifle is your only option here. Start shooting them right away and take them out. Just free fire if you have to. Shoot and aim and blast away. This guy is going to... These guys are going to chop you up, but there's only four. Now you call Ray after the save and rating of, oh, wow, 66%. Now call Ray and explain to him what happened. I'm told you did a good job. Who'd you hear that from? Timmer? That guy left me to get killed, bro. Some getaway driver. He's an impatient man. He does not suffer weakness. Fuck you. So what? You had to drive yourself away. You are still alive. I think much of your abilities. They will be a place for you in my new empire. Oh, no, Please, fire. come to see me soon. Yeah, Ray is a bigger douchebag than Timir. Oh, he's just an impatient man, blah, blah, blah. Well, time to get Luis some food and body armor and other things. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you liked this video, hit the like button. Hey, leave some comments even. If you like this type of video, well, hey. Hit the subscribe button and then the bell icon and you will be informed of these videos when they come out. As always, thanks for stopping by.
piece of this ass? Okay, mommy. I'll take you for a ride. So which hole you like best, baby? Let's find someplace quiet. about to make your day. Sure know your stuff, mommy. Sure thing, baby. You think you can handle it? You're my first of the day, you lucky boy. No sticky mess for you. Oh, yeah, I don't want to do this while I'll see someone I know. You get in no lockjaw, baby. You leave there, baby. Oh, you mommy. I you mean a little to the left, mommy. Thank you for that. Get in, baby. As soon as I saw you, I knew we'd be good together, honey. I'm gonna find somewhere quiet for us to get down. Get with your hand, girl. Fuck 
the shit out of it. Yeah, you nasty fucker. Why are we waiting here? Yeah, baby. That's it. Mmm. Thornia, that was fun.